Hello everyone, Fuzzy Bear Barian back again. This is episode 42 of my 100% walkthrough of Zombie Army for Dead War. This one's the DLC mission Deeper Than Hell, Chapter 2, Nazis at the Center of the Earth. In this one we have to get a comic page, a zombie hand, and a document. We also have to complete the challenge to stomp kill 30 enemies. For that, I'm going to recommend choosing Boris because he has a better melee and his melee attacks charge faster. Uh, probably don't really need to, there's plenty of opportunity, but whatever. He's just a better choice in my opinion for this. I'm also ha including a takedown frequency perk and a second chance perk because we're getting up close and personal with a lot of enemies in this and you can die easy enough, so takedown frequency gives us a chance to get more health and second chance, well, that's obvious. Uh, I'm also having shotgun uh, ammo uh, and a couple of other defensive perks, but shotgun ammo mainly because I'm going to use shotgun a lot. For the most in the gun, which I'm carrying, uh, I'm pretty much only carrying this to increase melee damage and a chance of knocking down enemies for those stomp attacks. Also the trench gun and obviously the electric mods because the electricity can knock enemies down, making them open for stomping. I don't, probably not really going to use the pistol too much, but it has a extra damage, extra melee damage and a chance of knocking down enemies too, so may as well equip that. Apart from that, the rest of it is up to you. Let's go in. Uh, there's not much to get really in this first area, except uh, some health and then, I mean, you can go upstairs if you want and grab a couple of frag grenades, but it just takes a little bit too long for my liking to do that before the mission starts, so I'm just going to run out as is. This is your first opportunity to get some stomp kills. Oh, that's right, also have the uh, electric melee on, I forgot to show that. If you have the electric melee on, you're a good, you can knock a bunch of enemies down with a single melee. That's uh, pretty much crucial, I should have shown that right at the start, but there you go, now you know, so if you have to restart, sorry about that, but yeah. Uh, okay, so pretty much you want to try and get all of your stomp kills as early as you can. It's not terrible, I mean there's tons, this is a horde, there's multiple horde moments in this mission, so there's plenty of opportunity to get stomp kills, no need to stress about it too much, but I always like to try and get the challenges done as soon as possible so I don't have to think about them anymore and there's plenty of opportunity in this area in a moment not so much here i mean you can take your time here but there's no point in a moment a bunch of um uh, creepers are going to come out and creepers are great for stomp kills because you can you don't have to knock them down they're already down so you just have to stomp the hell out of them it's a bit dangerous you take a bit of damage but it's the easy way to get this challenge done so we'll be doing that in a moment first the first collectible and that's the zombie hand which you can see over there crawling on the beams All right, so we'll just continue now. There's no other collectible in this area for now, so we'll just continue with trying to get stomp kills and with uh, completing the mission objectives. So yeah, you can see the electric fist, uh, electric melee is definitely the way to go here. And now these creepers are out. It's a bit, it's kind of a bit dangerous. You, if you're not on easy mode, you could die here. So always do the challenges on easy mode to complete them. But pretty much, you can still electric fist the creepers if you want, but you don't have to. You can just stand there and melee them. You'll take some damage. But because we have that extra perk on that makes it uh, so that we have less kills to get before our healing melee is up, you can pretty much stand there and just spam your your uh, grab button to your takedown button to get that heal as soon as it's up so our health is still looking pretty good and we got quite a few stomp kills there if I was taking there we go we have 21 already if I was taking this a bit uh, a bit slower I could have all 30 done by now but I'm kind of I don't really want to do that this is already a fairly long mission so this the faster I can get through it the, the better so far the first two missions of the most recent DLC are quite long, so that's good. Plenty to do. Don't bother trying to melee armoured giants to take them down. They won't go down from an electric melee. It's just a waste of your melee. Again, like I said, I could just preserve those other uh, weaker enemies, knock them down, but 
Knock him down at least. No time to get past this guy and get to him, so... Oh, yep. Yes, there is. <laughs> that was one. Alright, what are we up to? Probably about 22, 23. And there's plenty of opportunity to get more. If you get none in this area, you can easily get all 30 in the next area. So, so don't worry about... Just, just be mindful just to get them when you can. You don't really have to put yourself in danger too much to get them. There's a bunch of creepers in every uh, horde mode phase in this mission, so if you really just want to wait for creepers, do that. Oh, this is the next collectible. You have to drop down here and pick it up. This one's easily missed because you don't actually go down here, so... Yeah, you want to make sure that uh, when you get to the clear the fallen rubble bit, when you have to pick up the explosives, before you do all that, you drop down and pick up that collectible. And once you've done that, then you're comfortable. Because if you do that, if you you, you can do that, get you can grab that collectible later if you want. But it just helps with m remembering not to exp not to set off all these charges until you have it. You can get it afterwards, but. Then you might forget, you know, because the mission objective will tell you to go forward, and so then you forget and you go forward. So don't do that. Grab the collectible first. I'm just putting some mines down because a bunch of enemies are going to come out and come walking through there. Basically, whenever you open a door or explode something, enemies are coming out, so always prepare for that with mines, really. So there you go, there's more creepers coming out. I'm going to use all of these creepers to get the... Whoop, wasn't uh, expecting that. Get all these, uh, the rest of my stomp kills. Probably complete it right here, actually. Just keep stomping away while they come at you. There you go. Took a bit of damage, but that's alright. I don't mind taking the risk. Now I don't have to think about that collectible ever again. Ah, oh, sorry, that challenge ever again. So, um, the other thing is, you notice then that you're probably already well experienced at this point with the game, but if you have explosive bullets on a weapon, you can pull it out, use it, blow up a bunch of enemies at once, put it back, pull out another weapon that has explosives on it and use that and blow up a bunch of enemies. You can cycle between explosive bullets that way and kill a lot of enemies at once. I kind of rarely do it because honestly I just forget, but it is, it is a, a, a really good way of preserving bullets and killing enemies faster. I really want to take out that officer that I'm probably in danger here, so there's a couple of officers up there that you need to take out. That explosion generally won't do it. And see, you could have just stood at the top of this uh, step here to uh, stomp kill all the creepers as they crawled up as well. That would actually be a better way than the way I did it. You're, you're less likely to take damage from them, though they can damage you as they're crawling up, so just be aware of that. Having that uh, perk to do your special melee to gain health back is actually really good. All it does is it means you have to get less kills to charge it up, but... I find that uh, it might even be better to have that on than any other health perk because you, you get it very, very frequently. Like you can see I'm only three kills away from having it again already. One now. And now it's back again. Like that's crazy. And it gives you a good chunk of healing so you can see I'm almost full health again even though I've taken a bunch of damage and haven't used a med kit. I really don't know what it is about this game because nothing's changing. It's just killing zombies, flicking the switches, having hordes of zombies, flicking the switches, moving on, flicking the switches, hordes of zombies. But I just don't tire of it. I, it's just really fun. Really fun. Alright, so we can proceed forward now. The next collectible is in an area after here.
Let's restock. And we only have one more collectible to get. We already have done the challenge and obtained all but one collectible, so... Even though this is a long mission, getting all of the achievements is not difficult. It's not like some missions where you really have to put in an effort. So nothing in here, just I couldn't remember if I'd forgotten something in there for a moment, but there's nothing in there to worry about. You just need to get to the mission objective. And then you can't access the collectible the moment you do get there. You've got to trigger the enemies to come out by flicking a switch again. <laughs> but um, once you do that, enemies will burst out of a, um, a side area where the collectible is hidden behind some walled up planks. Okay, so this area here is the main, is the area where you'll get your uh, final collectible. It's to the right. Through there. First though, we have to flick this switch and trigger all the enemies to come barging out. Strange. Has no power, I think. There we go. So now it's through this one. We can run through here. You have to shoot out these planks. And you'll want to clear these guys out here first, but it's on the left just there. Shoot that explosive, otherwise it's probably gonna you'll probably accidentally shoot it and hurt yourself. Uh that um crate with the oh first of all, let's just grab the couple of grenades and the collectible. There's a crate behind me there. I didn't it's got I think it's just an attachment in it. I don't think it's a heavy weapon. I could could be wrong. It could be random. You might even get as it might be a possibility for to be a zombie crate too for all I know, but yeah, I pretty much just ignore it. I shouldn't ignore it. Attachments are good. That's that's kind of understating attachments, but yeah, don't ignore it like I did. Uh, the next, the explosives are up here. There's just a couple, or not explosives, really. They're uh, the blood switch thingies, whatever they're called. These things. Blood fuel. So the collectible's on the right, the blood fuel's up the back right, and the other blood fuel is through on the left here. Not that you need me to explain that. The game's really good at giving you a compass so you know where you got to go. Nothing's ever really a mystery. You have to search a little bit, but not too much. I mean, it's pretty much handed to you on a silver platter. Rebellion pretty much knows what their game's about. It's really about shooting zombies. <laughs> Uh, not that way. Back that way. I do like playing with Boris. He's really funny and his melee is good. But I also always miss playing with Yun. She's uh, so much faster. So much more stamina. I like speed and stamina. All right, pretty much uh, now we just have to uh, wait for this event to happen and Dr. Schweiger or whoever he is to give us a bit of a monologue. Once he's finished, 
where he is, bursts open and a horde of zombies come rushing out at you. A handful come from the left and a handful come from the right, but mostly they come from up there. Where you can't go. It's a good idea to have saved some grenades for this moment as well because there are a few of them. Uh, you can get backed up. You can go backwards in, directly behind me or you can kind of through there or you can kind of retreat left and right. Left and right's better. I'll probably go backwards because I think I can kill them all before I die. <laughs> but going left or right is definitely a better approach because you've got more room to move. If you go directly back it's pretty much a very short shallow dead end. And if you haven't killed enough enemies, you'll probably die in there. So... I'll just probably keep talking through this stage, but we have completed the challenge and we have do, and we do have all the collectibles for the mission. So there's not really much for me to say from this point apart from talking about uh, the missions themselves and the missions are pretty self-explanatory. You know, they give you the icon, you know where to go. It's it's not rocket science. So uh, the one thing I'll, I'll just do is I'll just go up in this little area to warn you not to back up into here from the horde if you haven't killed a lot of them because there's nowhere to go and you will die. And also that's the other reason. The, there's grenadiers and they'll throw grenades in here and you'll just burn to a crisp. If you're lucky they won't throw them all the way in and you should be able to hide right in the corner but you'll still get kind of trapped like I am here. I think I'm pretty safe. There's only a few enemies to go and if I keep standing out far enough, that grenade will probably burn them. Plus we have our fast cooldown on our healing. Might actually get a bit hairy. <laughs> Might actually get a bit close. No, it's alright. It got close, but we're good. We, uh, I'm going to ignore the grenadier and get this shadow demon first, though. He's always the priority. He will, he will kill me if that... Uh, uh, oh, he got away. He'd definitely kill me with this amount of health left. I want to bring him, I want to stomp him to death. Now I'll take care of the Grenadiers. Oh, I thought I, I thought I could, I thought I had a melee to get him. I didn't. Oh. <laughs> Die. Alright, that's done. Just a couple more enemies. Alright, so that's, that's that area. Now you just continue through the doors into the final area where there's... A, bu a couple of switches to to do basically, and then uh, there's a lot of uh, a, a lot of enemies to kill, a lot of suiciders and snipers to kill. But I won't talk over that. All of this is self-explanatory. I'll just let you watch with the sound up to where it should be, and uh, let you enjoy it like that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Great giant doors again. More giant statues. Strange. It's all made of stone. They look like people in motion. They look like they want to leave this place. Something left this place dark and abandoned. Perhaps it is related.
power is kaput. Sniper! 